Sorry, honey. That's okay. Are you filming? I'll be filming. Mm -hmm. So Gino actually started doing this, aging the edges just to kind of take some of it off. This is the other uh, decorative corner piece that is our uh, brace that uh, goes by the post. I traced it off of the one I just finished. The first thing I'm going to do is take a uh, jigsaw, cut out the shape. Um, I also use a, a uh, round over bit, quarter inch round over, and uh, using the sander and the Dremel, just kind of filing out all the corners and nooks and crannies and stuff. So. Poor Chris. <laughs> He's got his little table right here. He has no room because his wife likes to garden. <laughs> <laughs> so he finds he finds these little nooks and crannies that he tries to do his little work stuff in. It's too dark in there. We got to get some light, more light in the <laughs> in the little guest house thing. Poor Chrissy. It's good to eat, though. Oh, the vegetables? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant it was good to eat in that room. No. <laughs> I was like, I don't think we've ever ate in there. <laughs> no, I feel like a, uh, like a, like a Greek carpenter. <laughs> oh my Greeks. <laughs> a Greek carpenter. <laughs> yeah, because I can like saw and then eat a grape. <laughs> oh. I'm like, I'm like so great, the carpenter. Yeah. World. Hey, I'll let you get back to work. Okay, thanks. Woohoo! Looks so good. Thank you. Is it nice having some shade that you yeah. can put that up in? Heck yeah! Heck, Heck yes! Yeah. <laughs> I think my screw's bent though. Don't. You can put some new screws in there. I know. You don't have to use old screws. I, need to get, I think I need to get... Isn't that the Haunter way, though? Yeah, it is. I took screws into the neighbor's house. <laughs> <laughs> What's that sound, T? What's that sound? So, we put these decorative... Um, pieces on the side. And Chris just made that one right there. We, uh, we finished putting all the strips on all of the walls. We got our sign up there. The roof is looking really good. And I started aging the um, paint, with some paint, I mean, on the walls. And all I'm trying to do is just make it a more uniform color. <coughs> All the way, it's okay, Tonka. And um, then I'll go back through and then I'll age it with black and white. So, I'll show you guys that. Tonka, it's okay, bud. But there you go. Ooh, ah. <laughs> oh, we did also hit the edge of the deck and we hit more of the the sides of the the strips and everything beating it all up so can you tell that we've aged the bottom part tried to make it a little more unified bonafide certified well it's just it had a brown wash to it. Now I have to go back and age it with some black, but at least the wood matches a little bit better. And those are looking really good. And then, do 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 do, our sign. So Chris is up there right now, and he is dinging up. I am. The okay. trim. Well, you're not up like literally up there right now. He's been up there. <laughs> doing stuff. You're such a stinker. Stinker? Mm-hmm. So, I think he's going up there and uh, he's gonna ding up the sides of the strips. Yeah. Be careful. Alright. 
time to make the windows look aged. So what I'm doing right now is I went ahead and I painted some green around and then kind of sponged over the whole window kind of to give it a little green haze. And then what I did is I took some white and I made it look runny and drippy like so. And then I took brown and went over the top of that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little more brown. And then I'm going to go back over with a little bit of green. Just so they don't look like windows that are just kind of fogged over but that they actually look old and decrepit and that they've been there for the wear and tear for a while. We are gathered here today to go over the Undertaker facade. Now, <laughs> we are pretty much finished. We just have a little bit of painting and stuff to do. Uh, like Gina mentioned, she's been working on the windows. Um, as far as the windows go, we're just going to add some curtains here on the back, probably tea stain them, and add some LED lighting. And then those will be pretty much done. Um, what else do we have here? The, uh, Hobbit door is pretty much done. <laughs> and, uh, um... I painted the, um, the last time you guys saw, it, this was all brown, and I went back through and aged it with some black. And I tried to do a good job. The thing about it is, you have to remember... Oh, <laughs> I just hit my head on this. Oh gosh. All right. A safety hazard. I know. Geez. The thing you have to remember is um, when you're doing stuff for nighttime, the m you have to make it cartoony because a lot of it gets blended in with the nighttime. Yeah. Yeah. We're constantly battling. So that, huh? I painted all this today, and while I go, wow, that looks really prominent and kind of bold. I'm gonna see what it looks like at nighttime and hopefully the windows look good. Um, I know that I do still wanna go back over the walls with uh, some more prominent black paint because it does kinda of get washed out and it just looks like brown. So, There's a sign. Have you seen the sign? Yeah, they saw the oh, sign. Oh, okay. I saw the sign. So, so again, <laughs> uh, we may have gone over this, but all these walls are basically, most of them are left over from our walkthrough maze from 2012. And they are all like six foot ten, so that they could fit in our carport um, by four feet. And Gina and I can pretty much completely break this all down, and it's all in little pieces. And it just, you start at the top and just work your way down. And, it, it you know, we made it pretty fairly easy. Disassemble. To disassemble, <laughs> yes. Um, you know, they, uh, the construction of them is um, their uh, standard or, or common studio flats, also Hollywood flats or TV flats. Hollywood. And the big difference between those and like theater flats, theater flats are when the one by three or wood is flat with the blue on, and these are framed much like a wall, like in a house. Is that why they're called flats? Yes, that's probably what it's <laughs> Yeah. So, oh, gosh. But yeah, this is, we're pretty much done. Um, like I said, we got to add some... More some bullet little, holes? Yeah, I think we're going to try to get... To <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to cover those up. And uh, oh. Gina wants to try to find a, a, like one of those old gas lanterns. Um, not not the ones that we have have already, but like... They're like the kerosene type. lanterns. Yeah. Yeah. But... Other than that, this one's pretty much done. That's We're going to be taking folks. it down here soon. Taking it down, pass it around. Uh, we've been working really, really hard on the next facade. Whatever. Um, yeah, a little bit. No, we've been working hard. <laughs> 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 oh, that was a scary face. <laughs> um, you want to show them? The saloon, which is coming soon. Done. I think we should have made it bigger. Hang on, let's stand back. <laughs> and crouch down. So, there's
there's our tiny facade. 